So 10K a month with AI in specific by ranking a site on top of Google. Is it possible? The answer is yes, this guy did it. I'll leave this link for this case study down below in the description, but I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how we did it, right? And to show you that it's real, right? Even SEMrush, the big uh, publicly traded company in the search marketing space, even commented, and again, I'll leave a link for all this case study in the description so you can read through and figure out how we did it. But now that you know that's possible, how do you actually do it? So first things first is you need to understand that AI, right, is a technology and you need to use it as a tool, right? This is a tool, in this case, a wrench, right? And you gotta think about it as AI as a tool in which you can leverage to achieve results faster, right? And if you think about this whole space, right, the Google ranking space and the AI space for SEO and marketing as a staircase in which the top step, which is where you wanna get to, is money, right? Converting users to money. Uh, before the AI, right, you should have to do everything manually, right? do the cure research, right? Then write the content, then read through the content and figure out, okay, what's the best place to add links to? Internal links, external links, then where's the best place to add images, videos, bullets, tables, quotes, then publish it all manually to the, to the site. It would take so long. Now with AI and by leveraging this tool, that's AI, you can skip ahead of the line, right? You can skip all of these steps quicker. And if you're not leveraging AI, your competitors will, and it means that you're gonna get left behind. So again, you know it's possible because this guy did it, right? And there's a couple more that did it as well. This is a fintech company, a uh, startup. This is a personal brand site. But this guy actually made $10,000 in a month with just within three months. Um, now, which tools can you leverage? Yeah, you can leverage ChatGPT, but if you want to actually automate the whole process, so keyword research, content generation, content publishing, content indexing in Google, and also content syndication to all your social media platforms, you leverage a tool like Journalist AI, right? Here's the type of articles that you're able to produce with this AI. There's a bunch of stuff here, which I'll go over step by step, but this is the type of content that you're able to produce with this AI. Now this works for any niche. This is just for a dog grooming niche, right? The ones that I show you here, this is again for dogs, right? All this is done with AI. The featured image, the table of contents, right? The proper content structuring with key takeaways in article images, proper content structuring, right? Bullets, tables, quotes, external links, right? In article images, in article views that are relevant to what the content is about. Again, this is a, a, a video about the, uh, dog being groomed because this article is about dog grooming, right? Internal links right here, right? External links, more content structuring. I can just skim through these ones and I can click here to publish them to my site. Sorry, click here to publish them to my site. I can skim through them one by one, publish, next, publish, or I can just go here and click publish all to my integration. It's gonna be publishing all three to my integration. What's an integration? An integration can be anything you want, right? Integrations can be your WordPress site, Shopify store blog, Ghost, Wix, Webflow Blogger, or Zapier or an external API. So you can essentially publish to all these platforms. Now, what if you want to do everything manually, uh, automatically, sorry. You just go here to auto blogs. If you create a new auto blog, you can set it up so that it produces however many articles you want every single month, week, day, 12 or six hours, right? So essentially what you're doing is you're connecting the AI with your site, right? And it's generating automatically, then automatically posting, in this case, one article a day to your blog. Now, if you wanna give it a step further, it also indexes the content for you automatically. Just go here to indexer right here, connect your indexer with Google, and you will automatically index the content in Google. Now, if you wanna go even a step further, because I did mention keyword research right here, and I did mention, of course, content syndication, for the keyword research, you can go here to keyword monitors down here, Oh, sorry, down here, uh, new monitor. Actually, no, I'm just gonna show you this one. Add your site URL, I'm gonna take this far away. Add your site URL, add your country, add your language. It will analyze your site plus the competition. It will give you a list of cures with their respective difficulties and monthly search volumes. And you can have the AI produce content based on what's here on these keywords. So again, the AI does cure research, then does the content generation based on those keywords, then the content publishing, then the content indexing, and also the syndication to your social media platforms. If you go here to social media, in social media, you can add your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all these platforms. Again, the content that's published to your site, this content you just saw there, will be automatically syndicated to your social media platforms. I have, I do have a diagram here in this case study down here, right, that shows you the, the whole process, right? Journalist AI, which is this AI right here called Journalist AI, just go to tryjournalist.com, try it out. It automatically, oh, automatically publishes to your brand site, automatic posting of individual blog posts. Then each one of these blog posts is rich in features with, again, featured images, proper table of contents, proper content structuring with in-article videos, in-article images, internal links, so these links, these blog posts, sorry, will interlink between each other in a way that makes sense, right? External links, bullets, tables, quotes, all this. And then once they're live, they're gonna be syndicated automatically to your social media accounts, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, all those automatically for you on autopilot, right? That's how you leverage AI to rank your sites fast and first on Google and actually make money with it. Again, this is not just me saying we have 
a lot of case studies that we're, I mean, right now we have only three, but we're going to be adding more. And these are, if you just scream through these, they're all real. I, I detail exactly what the step by step, how you can do it too. But essentially, it all boils down to lever boils down sorry, to leveraging AI tools. In this specific, this one called Journalist AI, but thinking about AI as a tool, as a new technology, as a wrench, as a tool you can leverage to skip ahead of the line, right? Instead of doing the Q research manually, writing the content. Uh, optimizing the content for SEO, then, then manually publishing it to your site takes so, so long. And this AI does all of this for you on autopilot. And again, like I said before, if you're not leveraging AI yourself, right, if you're not doing it yourself, your competitors will, right? And the reality is that when your competitors find a way or a tool or a technology, in this case AI, to do things faster, to go ahead faster and get ahead of the curve faster, they will, right? And I know, of course, buys because I have this tool right here, but I also, I want to tell you that this is going to be the future, right? People that do not leverage AI tools and the AI technology are going to get left behind, right? And again, we see countless case studies here. And I can go over this one real quick, uh, which essentially is a fintech startup, right? A financial technology startup, which they wanted to target the Portuguese market. So, because with this AI, you can just go here to generate articles. And you can generate articles in a bunch or 150, over 150 different languages. Portuguese, Spanish, Greek, all this. And this company, what they did is they wanted to target the international Portuguese market. So, they went here, they went to the QR monitors, they added their site as such, I think I have it here even, yeah, for slash PT, right? And they, they were given a list of keywords to target, right? They took these keywords and they had an auto blog, as I saw before, this auto blog automatically generated content to their blog. And the results you see here are done, again, with the AI keyword research, the AI content generation, publishing, indexing, and they didn't, they didn't do syndication to social media because at the time, this feature didn't really exist yet, but we just added it, so yet, yet, it's yet another option to syndicate and get more eyeballs on your content, right? And they did this in a market that's often, uh, actually international markets are often underserved, right? In the international markets, so the non-English markets, there's often a lot of demand, but not that much quality supply. So there's not enough content to satisfy the demand. And in the case of these guys, they were targeting financial-based keywords, because again, they're a fintech startup in Portuguese. And there weren't many, um, blog posts and many companies targeting those same keywords. And that's how they were able to achieve these types of results. And again, this is all done by going here, literally, they went here, click generate articles. Actually, first they set up a preset because you can create presets to save them so you don't have to do this every single time. And they started right here, right? My FinTech startup content preset in Portuguese, right? Like so. And they went and filled all these out. I won't fill them all right now, I'll just skim through them right real quick. So. They wanted the videos in the article, so just they didn't enable this, right? Again, we write the article, right? Then go on YouTube and find, okay, what's the most relevant video we can add through the article? And we'll add it to our article, not just randomly, right? We'll find a section that makes sense to add the article to, the video to, sorry. So they enable this. Images, they enabled featured images in article images as well. I think they used AI-based images, but they could use stock photos, Google images their own custom images. I think if they did use AI images, which I think they did, they had the prompt for hyper-realistic, but again, you can play around with this. They added, of course, external linking and internal linking, quite powerful again. In all the articles generated, there's gonna be links scattered throughout, right? These links, the external links link out, for example, an article about finance, link out to uh, Bloomberg. They link out to uh, maybe TechCrunch, maybe Investopedia, maybe Wikipedia, right? And internal links, they're gonna link out to your site's homepage, to maybe some other blog posts of yours, maybe your contacts page, right? So that's internal linking, oh, that's internal linking and external linking. To set this up, it's quite simple. External linking, just enable this, right? That's done. We'll scrape the internet for relevant articles in your niche language. There's, of course, some advanced features right here, but I won't go over them. Internal linking, they just added their sitemap, which I'll do right here as a sample, test and preview. These are all the links that are inside of my site that the articles are going to be linking out to in a way that makes sense, right? If this article talks about topic A, right, and this section of the article talks about topic B, and the sentence talks about topic C and the anchor text topic C, it will link out to another article or page on their site that talks about topic C. So there's relevancy between the page that's linked out to and the page that the link comes from, right? Hopefully this makes sense, but the best way to actually check this out is to try it out for yourself. I'll leave a link for this in the description so you can do so. Then they set up the structure, they enable and disable all these sections. They select the article length, formatting, you can all set this all up. You can even connect this to the web so that the content is up to date. You can even connect your brand. If you do connect your brand, this is a great way to produce non-blend, non-AI generic AI content. So that if you create a brand and connect it here, the content produced by the AI is brand tailored, right? Using your own brand's mannerisms, your brand's tone of voice, your brand's mannerisms, your brand's images. It's quite, quite powerful way to produce non-blend AI content. Uh, speaking of content, again, you can go here to select the language. Uh, if you are targeting international markets, you could use this. Um, target country, you can select the creativity levels. You want it to be more original. 
go to the right, you'll be more factual, go to the left. Tone of voice, point of view, even give it custom instructions. And of course, the generation mode can be based on the description, based on keywords or titles, or based on, again on keyword monitor, which was the feature right here, down here, that you remember that gave us the keywords, right? So essentially, you can have the AI generate the keywords and then give you the keyword story and then generate the content based on those keywords. So super, super powerful. And that's it. Right, that's the whole video. Super short, super fast, straight to the point. Hopefully, this is valuable. If you don't try it out, you want to give it a go, just go to tryjournalist.com and give it a go. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know as well. But essentially, my whole point with this is that you need to leverage these AI tools and think about AI technology as a tool which you can leverage to rank your sites higher on Google. Because again, if you're not doing it, your competitors will do it. Again, I'll leave a link for this in the description. I'll also leave a link for the uh, case studies right here. Read through them because these are real sites from real people, from real businesses. This is a real startup. This is a real agency. And this is a real guy with a personal brand. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.